Today we're going to take apart a MSI laptop and we're going to replace two of the fans, well actually three of the fans, uh, because the current fan in this unit are just making tons of noise and I have a feeling the ball bearings or whatever uh, these fans use are going out. Here is the exact model number of this uh, MSI notebook and we're going to go ahead and uh, take out all the screws which you're going to find all around the corners and a couple in the middle and you're going to have to break this uh, factory seal sticker as well to get in. All right, now that you have all the screws off, we're going to go ahead and uh, lift the bottom of the PC away and we're going to take our fans that we have here and we're going to just kind of lay them on there to make sure, you know, we did get the right fans because there are different, a lot of different models. Um, some have four, some have three, some have two, so you just want to double check that, you know, you got the right one. Just, it looks like, you know, everything lines up where it needs to be so we know these are the correct fans. Uh, so now let's go ahead and start taking these screws off to uh, get access to the actual fans. Okay, now that you have all the connectors, everything unplugged everywhere, there's a lot of them, um, and a couple of screws, get them all taken out, and now we can begin to try to lift the uh, motherboard out. Now be careful taking this um, out as there's two um, power cords that you don't see until you move the motherboard. And go ahead and disconnect that, and we're gonna, gonna rotate this bad boy um, over. And you can almost kind of test the fans if they spin. It looks like these, you know, spin pretty good. Um, oh, this is part of the other culprit here. It doesn't really want to spin at all as easy as these ones. So this is definitely the one that's making the the chunking noise. So let's go ahead and get. This, we're gonna go ahead and just replace them both because it's such a process doing this. You might as well just replace them all while you're in it. So that's what we're gonna do. So you're gonna take out these three screws, disconnect this power cable, and then pry this fan out from underneath. And then now on the GPU side, we got these three, uh, four, five screws to go ahead and take apart now. Careful as you pry it out, pull it forward your way, and make sure you have those two wires disconnected. So now we're gonna go ahead and try to insert our new fans. And if I was you before, Sealing this back up is see all that dust build up. Get that out of there because that's going to destroy those fans when trying to cool. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, get that out of there. CPU fan <clears throat> had a lot more dust build up. Look at that. That is not good for that at all. But yeah, just make sure you clean these up, these vents and the vents on this side as well. All right, we successfully replaced this fan, put in the three screws here, we're gonna plug this in. Once that's done, I always like to check my fans and make sure they're not being hung up and they're all spinning, so that means they should work when we put it in. All right, once we have that put in, make sure when you slide this back in that we uh, watch out for all these cables, The uh, watch out for the wireless uh, cables as well as we slide this uh, motherboard back into the case of the laptop. Keep in mind removing the battery and the hard drive might make it easier for you to get all the cables reconnected and don't forget the one that's way up here um, and there's a bunch of them on the side here and then down here and get the CMOS battery plugged in and then this looks like a speaker jack too. Now we just need to do a quick look over on everything make sure we have um, everything connected um, make sure those two wires for the uh, wireless are connected because that's very important or you're not going to get Wi-Fi. Um, fans are all plugged in. That's plugged in up there. Looks like we're ready to start plugging the screws back in now. All right, last step is putting the battery in. I love uh, taking the battery um, and unplug it when I do these things so I don't hit something and it sort of circuits, uh, something on the circuit board, on the motherboard. Um, so always unplug it before you um, do anything uh, taking anything un apart or unplug and always disconnect the power source and the battery inside So we're gonna go ahead and reconnect that put our lid back on and we should be up and running and then moment of truth We are all set the fan has been replaced and it is working great job